Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. This is a media selection with piecewise linear function problem in a textbook, and there's just two pages, so this is a little simpler than the last piecewise problem I did, and hopefully it'll be easy to follow along. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick summary of what the problem is about. Um, so basically we have a set budget of $20,000, $20, um, and we have uh, full page ads that we can purchase in two different magazines, and um, an exposure is when a person reads the ad for the first time. Um, and so where our piecewise function comes into play um, is right here where it says um, in our IG, IJ, the Inside Jocks magazine, um, one to six ads would have 10,000 exposures, um, seven to 10, 3,000, 11 to 15, 2,500, and ads 16 plus, there's zero exposures. Um, so this is the equation for if there were eight ads. Um, so again, that's why it's piecewise. It's broken up like that. There's a different number of exposures for um, a different quantity of ads that are in that magazine. So for the other magazine, uh, one to four is going to have eight thousand. Five to twelve is going to have six thousand. Thirteen to fifteen is going to have twenty thousand or two thousand. And sixteen plus is also zero exposures. Um, so then. Um, basically our decision variables are just going to be the number of ads yielding um, the different number of exposures. So X is going to be for our first magazine and Y um, will be for our second magazine. So we are maximizing the number of exposures within our budget and um, one of our constraints is that um, the number of ads, like the total number of ads um, must be less than our budget. That's just another way of writing it. Um, and this is in thousands, by the way, like all of our um, quantities. And then there's also these constraints down here. Um, basically, like this first one um, says that our max number that we can have for X1, um, the 10,000 exposures, is 6. So that's where um, this was explained, the 1 to 6. So then the next one is 7 to 10 and we can have up to five um, of 3,000 exposures for IJ Magazine. Um, and then this is for our second magazine, and we're gonna have, um, our variables are gonna be integer and non-negative. Uh, non so then um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get the solution down here using Python. So um, we always wanna start off with our from pulp import, asterisk let me just pull up my notes really quick um, so the set that I use since we have um, one two three as our subscripts I just call this breaks since it's um, basically like um, our three different um, amounts of ads sorry um, so we're gonna have one two three just keeps it simple and then we don't have any parameters so we can just jump right ahead into making our problem problem variable so we're gonna say prob equals LP problem and let's call this media selection since that's the name of it and this is a maximization because we are maximizing the number of exposures um, the next thing we're gonna do is our decision variables So to keep this simple, let's do x underscore bears equal, and then we use our LP variable function, and then dot D-I-C-T-S, um, since we are referring to this set, um, let's just name this x so that it prints that way when we run our um, solution, and then we are referring to the break set, because our subscripts are 1, 2, 3. Um, this is non-negative, so our lower bound is zero. We're going to say no upper bound. Um, technically, these kind of set an upper bound for each subscripted variable. So um, there can be a max of six ads for x uh, subscript one. Um, but we still put no upper bound. And then, of course, we need LP integer because this is an IP problem. And then let's just call this y bears again to keep it simple. Also going to call this y, referring to our break set. It's going to be the same thing. And 
And then next, we need to set our objective function. So we need to set it to our prob variable. So we say prob plus equals. Um, and then I'm just going to zoom in on this. They already wrote out our, let's see, they already wrote out our object. Ooh, that's way too far. Okay. This is our objective function already wrote out nicely for us. And again, this is in thousands. Um, so first we're going to have 10 times um, x underscore there's unfortunately we can't do a loop and just sum it all over because uh, each subscripted variable has a different amount of exposures like I said um, before so then next we have three times x two and I'm just indexing basically with the brackets then we have 2.5 which is right there And then we have eight um, getting into our y variables now. So y varies one plus six times y varies two. And then lastly, plus two times y varies three. And that's our objective function. And I'm just going to pull this out for a second so you can see the whole thing. If you want to pause this, don't really have enough room. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And then now we're going to get into our constraints. We do have to type this all out. Um, I guess you could make these uh, upper bounds like a parameter, but um, I didn't really want to do that. So I'm just going to type out each one. But... Um, if you wanted to make a parameter, you just create a dictionary and um, you would do like one colon. Uh, actually, no, that's why I didn't do it because there's two separate variables. So that just would get confusing. Um, so we do have to type it all out. So we're going to say this is our first constraint. It has to be within the budget. Um, but we can sum over since um, nothing is multiplied. We can just sum over all our x's. So we use the LP sum function, x varies i for i in breaks plus LP sum, and we're going to sum over all our y's, again, for i in breaks, because they're the same set, i in breaks, there we go. And that has to be less than or equal to 20. Oh, we're not summing anything. So this is our next constraint. X subscript 1 is less than or equal to 6. So all of, the, all of these are going to be the same. I'm just going to do them really quick. I probably could just copy and paste it, but so I already did this problem. But I'm just going to type them all out. Okay, so now we're getting into our y's. It's less than or equal to 4. y there's less than or equal to 8. And then finally, y there's 3 less than or equal to 3. And just checking everything, we have integer, we have lower bound is zero, and um, let's just go ahead and I am going to copy and paste what I use to solve. I've just been copy and pasting this whole code recently in all my videos because I otherwise would be explaining it in every single video and it's the same for, pretty much the same for every single one, but you can kind of um, change it depending on how you'd like to print it. 
Um, but so like this, for example, would not say total profit. We want to say max number of exposures. And you could change this if you wanted it to say something else for the variables. But you want to do your prob.solve parentheses, create a loop of for v in prob.variables um, parentheses colon, and then print the name. So it's v.name. And then I like to do the equal sign just to space it out. And then v.var value with a capital V for value. And then this is to print our z function value. So print, I like, I just said print max number of exposures and then value parentheses prob.objective. And now I'm going to run it. And I'm going to title it media selection. You can call it whatever you want. And wow, there were no problems, so that's nice. Um, so down here it says our optimal solution is 146,000. Again, these were in thousands, so that's why it um, doesn't print as that. If you'd like, you could um, change that to print in thousands. Um, but I didn't do that. But yeah, so here it says x1 is 6, x2 is 2, y1 is 4, uh, y2 is 8. Um, and then x3 and y3 are equal to zero. Um, so I hope you guys like this video and comment below if you have any questions about it and hopefully um, these videos are helping you understand how to do a piecewise linear function um, and make it an LP in Python. Thanks for watching. Bye!